Hello and welcome back to KSBS News. I'm Evan Penner. I'm Isaiah Sterling, and I'm not wearing pants. We have a great lineup of policies, politics, police maneuvers, and a plethora of talented participants in this pleasant present presentation, if you please. That we do, Isaiah. Yesterday, one of our cameramen had the opportunity to go check out the driving course put on by our highway patrol reps. Here you can see some staters navigating a series of obstacles in the parking lot outside of Goodnow. Yesterday, we also had the opportunity to interview all the state officers at a press conference. You can see that full video at KSB State on YouTube. Now let's cut to some talent show interviews. Hello, I'm here with Rex Gardner, our executive director. So, uh, Rex, what do you think of our annual talent show? The annual talent show is by far one of the highlights of e each session of the American Legion Boys State of Kansas. Uh, I have the opportunity to direct it for a number of years and look forward to this week, this day, this night, every year to work with the most talented young men of, across the entire state of Kansas. And I'm here with Thane Chastain, our Director of Development. So Thane, what do you think of the annual talent show? The annual talent show for me is one of the highlights of the Boys State Week. Um, uh, 35 plus years, I look forward to this night probably more than any other night during the week. I think it's a, it's a way that uh, people who are really uh, talented, are able to express those talents in front of a group of peers who are eager to see what people can do. Kind of the softer side of some very tough people, and I think, mm -hmm. that's, a, I think that's a good thing. And I'm here with Justin Co, Coco, right before the talent show. Uh, Justin, what is your job? Well, I'm a representative at Boys State. All right, and uh, what are you planning to do at the talent show? Um, I'm with the WAP crew. We're called the Whoppers, and we WAP. They WAP. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. And again, a big shout out to all the talent show participants. Now on to the budget. As we know, the original budget had several glitches that were swiftly fixed. Because the House and Senate were pressed for time, however, there was an open review for further changes. Now over to Lance for our veteran spotlight. Welcome to KSBS News. I am Lance Ernzen here with our daily veteran interview with Larry Andrews. Hello. Hey, Logan. Well, so did you enlist or were you drafted into the military? I'm a volunteer. I enlisted. Okay. Right. What uh, branch did you go into? I volunteered for the Air Force. It was 1981, matter of fact. All right. Uh, why did you join the Air Force? Well, uh, I had graduated from Dillard University in New Orleans, Louisiana in 1979. I had been an athlete uh, after a failure uh, trying out with the Harlem Globetrotters. I returned to Birmingham and began to do social work, and I did some teaching at my, at my old high school. And uh, one day I was downtown, and I walked past a recruiting station, and I thought back to when I used to love geography, and I thought, wow, man, you know what? I still got that desire to travel. So I think the desire to travel and see more is what really led me into joining the Air Force. And uh, where did you get to travel and what did you get to see? Well, I did my basic training in San Antonio, Texas, of course. And then I did training at Chanute Air Base in uh, Rantoul, Illinois. From there, my first duty assignment was in Spang Dollam Air Base in Germany, which is up in an area called the Eiffel, Eiffel Mountain region in Germany. And uh, I did two years there. and. From there, I came back to uh, Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, the coldest place <laughs> in the world. And uh, I had wanted to go back to Spain, uh, but some legislation came out which uh, held everybody in the positions that they were in, and I was unable to get reassigned. So I opted to uh, get out of active duty, and I came to uh, Wichita, Kansas, and joined the 184th Tactical Fighter Group down in Wichita and I was there for another 22 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, while you were in this service, what did you do? I was an e egress system mechanic that deals with the ejection seats in, in the aircraft. Uh, my first aircraft was the F-4 Phantom Jet. Uh, we installed that system and maintained it. I worked the systems, uh, the B-52 bomber. We worked those systems and the T-38s. Uh, after coming to Wichita, we transitioned to the F-16, and I worked on the systems of the B-1 bomber. Okay. Um, what wars did you serve in? 
Well, I was in, after coming in in 81, I guess you could call that the tail end of the Cold War when we were trying to stay ready to, uh, for the Russians, if you will. If you will. Uh, we were trying to do that. And then, of course, in 1990, the, the first Gulf War. So I'm, I was in during those periods. Okay. Um, how long were you in service? I get credit for 26 years and three months. Wow. Mm -hmm. And is there anything you'd like to say to the Boys Staters this year? Well, uh, thanks for coming, number one. You know, it's always good to have you guys come. You know, uh, without you guys, hey, there is no program. Uh, just a word of encouragement. Use your time wisely, I think. You know, use your time wisely. Time is neutral. Time is not for. Time is not against. So use your time wisely is what I would say. Okay. Thanks for the advice. Well, thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for having me. Indeed. Hello, I'm Zachary Evans from KSBS Weather, and yesterday we had pretty good weather, and then probably tomorrow we'll have also good weather as well. But today we're in severe weather warning to all counties. So staters, be careful and be safe. Thank you, Zach. We hope you enjoyed this segment of KSBS News.